Hello everyone, this is Brett from Moonstream. Just wanted to do a quick update on the markets. Wow, it's been one hell of a week, hasn't it? So I wanted to unpack this a little bit for you guys, give you some ideas where I think things are headed and what happened here. Uh, this is a post that I posted on TradingView about a week ago, and we've been watching these five peaks here. Typically breakouts happen on the third or fifth attempt. So when we saw this starting to reject, I drew these lines as two possible scenarios. The black line was the bullish, the red is the bearish. And it uh, looks like we nailed it because price was back here about 64k after we rejected at that fifth attempt so i did expect we'd head down here lower and get a bit of a bounce so if i hit play here we can see that uh that is exactly what happened and as we know we had that big drop here last week and uh, of course i tested this a minute ago and it worked just fine there we go so we've dropped down to this 55k level starting to get a bounce a little sooner than expected and I would imagine we'd push up here back around 60K, which, uh, you know, I think we will do. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Just jumping over to the, we're almost at 60K already. This didn't really show that. It has us about 57K for, so that updates end of day, I guess. So 60K, I think we'd probably have some uh, resistance here. The uh, big mover is Solana. We'll get to that in a minute. And uh, not sure what caused this big bounce here. We might have had a shorts covering and uh, thinking we'd go lower. I know there's a number of large shorts thinking we go down to the 45K region. And so what I am seeing though on our signals, our trend strength indicator turning green and turning up. This has been one of our key indicators uh, that we use to call market direction changes and also the RSI did go red. Our RSI Pro did go, I'm uh, sorry, green, turned green a couple days ago. Uh, I do wanna share a Solana trade with you uh, in a moment, but um, we're gonna look at the total market cap, which does lead everything else, getting a bit of a bounce uh, bullish engulfing candle here i think we do follow through and push up i'm just happy to see we've reclaimed that two trillion dollar level very important level in the uh, total market cap here so as of now we're back above that and um, i want to jump quickly to the i bit and then we'll come back to Look at that Solana trade that uh, is working out very well for us. So basically, I've been tracking the IBIT since inception. You guys know this all the way back here, this green arrow. Let me turn off the our ERI Pro there for a minute. And you can see all along the way, these gaps on the IBIT have been filling, much like the CME gap. And the CME gap, incidentally, just filled on the... Um, uh, the uh, Bitcoin, um, so we'll check, check that out. But here we had this big unfilled gap back here in July. So I was pointing that out to members and all these little gaps had filled. And then we had a big gap here on Monday, of course, sort of, uh, it, it, you know, sort of filling this without filling it either way. Uh, so this I had as a magnet pulling price down here. Of course, we overshot that quite a bit and started getting bought up here on 28.50. And then now the magnet is on the upside to fill this gap. So I do imagine, I do believe we go higher and we come up to this region on the IBIT. I'm using this as a leading indicator and also this trend line resistance was also significant. So up around the $36 on the IBIT, I'll set an alert here because for me, that'll be a take profit area. Uh, we are not out of the woods. This is not a time to be going all in. I think we could have more sell pressure because again, that fifth attempt at the all-time high rejected on the Bitcoin chart. So um, anyway, keep an eye on that. So keep an eye on the total market cap. I do like that we have have our trend strength indicator starting to turn up. So when that gets above 20, that is often a very strong sign. And uh, let me show you a great example of that. And we're talk going to talk about Solana and also we're going to talk about Solana ETH. Solana ETH has been looking super strong lately and has recently kind of broken above this uh, level above 60. So probably it'll pull back a bit, but Solana looking strong. I just got a headline over here that uh, Brazil just approved the first Solana ETF. So the writing's on the wall that Solana is going to get an ETF and that is the trade. So um, what I did on Sunday, I had a feeling that Sol would break lower and that uh, Monday would be a bad day. And what I did here, I want to point this out because sometimes the best trades are the ones where you're like Wayne Gretzky, you find out where the puck is going to go. So we were coming down in this area, heading lower. So I put buy limit orders in on Solana at 135, at 130, at 125, at 120, and 115. So back Monday, I all of those were filled and then bounced immediately. So by the time I woke up in the morning, it was already back to 130, already in profits. Now all of those positions are in profit. And one of the reasons that um, I was able to do that as we have these buy order blocks here, one of our indicators showing there was buy pressure in this range. So that uh, gave me confidence to put those buy limit orders in. And now we're seeing our trend strength indicator turning green above 20. This is one of our proprietary indicators here, I'm not here to talk about that, but uh, let me just put on 
the let's see where is that uh eri pro so we're also getting so this is our two best indicators and the third one that i'll show you is this rsi when these all align and go green um it, it's we call it the three kings it almost always pushes higher and uh, like 95 percent of the time so we have this green arrow here bullish engulfing candle on solana we have the tsi going green rsi was green the other day uh, two days ago so all of these in confluence plus this big money flow box this is actual strong buying pressure here and, uh, and so that tends to hold price on the downside. So on this candle here, pushed up, lots of money flow. And so this block here is being supported and well-respected. I do think we'll have some sell pressure up above this upper trend line here. So as swing traders uh, over here at Moonstream and in, in our M3 Active Trader Group, this is where we would be taking profits here, right around 180. If it does push up, we see heavy sell order block pressure in the 195 to 210 range. So the name of the game is take some profits along the way. And the way these things generally work, as we can see with this happened, I had drawn this before it happened, thought we might break to the upside, but on the next attempt, what will likely happen here is we'll get a break and retest and then head higher. So we'll have to keep an eye on that Solana trade. So uh, anyway, I, uh, I'm kind of running late. We're actually teaching our Retire Rich class right now, so I need to hop over. But you can see a nice broad board altcoin support bouncing. I would not be buying these down here, though, catching a falling knife. It's just not there yet. This is short covering a little bit of sell or exhaustion, but uh, this is not where I would be um, buying. And I, I really would suggest sticking with the top tier alts like Solana, Alt, um, ETH, and um, and those are the two because going into this next run, no matter what happens with Bitcoin, um, the stronger ones are going to lead and these uh, lower tier alts, uh, you want to be careful with um, trying to catch a falling knife, as I said. Stacks looking interesting, I'm kind of seeing our, our ERI and TSI turning up. I don't want to go too far into that, I'm not here to <clears throat> talk about those today. I have a quick message just to sort of show you what's going on and some of the alts we've been watching. But for the most part, they don't look great. Uh, the other thing I wanted to, we talked about the the uh, iBit, we talked about Caspa. I think that's about all I had to show with you. Um, helium, I'll just leave you with this. Helium, very strong today. It's gonna hit some sell pressure right about $6 in this range. Again, our order block detector uh, been very uh, uh, impactful in telling where buys and sell orders are and where price is likely to bounce or reject from. So looking at Helium here, and then we'll move on. In the daily time frame, nice push up. Love this chart. We had the 21 day cross the 50 day EMA back here uh, last week, third week in July. Had a big uh, order or money flow buck here. And then uh, now we're getting our early reversal indicator a couple days ago. So I've been, I mentioned this helium looking good two days ago and put a buy alert out in our M3 group. So, so you know, this green arrow again, TSI green, nice little pop on uh, helium. So we're getting really good at uh, calling these. And uh, so anyway, uh, thanks uh, for watching. If you like the content, please hit the like and the subscribe. Turn on a little bell thing so uh, you can be alerted to new videos. And if any of you have had a few people reach out uh, for private client work. I have a limited amount of space for that. If you'd like to learn how to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to moonstream.io. And down here on this page, this coaching and mentoring page, just click on the button here. Uh, you can book a no pressure call with me. And uh, thanks, Max, for uh, making that possible and being a great partner. And uh, great to see him at the uh, Bitcoin conference again. So a uh, quick little video here. You can look at that. I do trade, obviously, every day. Here's my setup. And uh, this is just to help people, not for everybody. Our other services are here and in partnership with Success Council. And so um, you guys uh, go check that out if you'd like more help. Otherwise, look forward to doing more videos for you guys here. And uh, you guys enjoy your week. And um, hopefully uh, things turn around. Hopefully we get a big rally. I don't believe all the doomsday headlines. We certainly could come back and retest the lows and uh, retest uh, that. You know, it could go either way. That's why I would suggest taking profits at these upper ranges. And um, and I think this right in here probably have some resistance at this uh, the 21 and 50 little headline here, Coinbase premium for Bitcoin is back and that's uh, related to a margin, etc. So it's a bullish sign. Um, hey, hey, look, we dodged a bullet there. And, um, you know, the big wild card right now, though, still is the Iran-Israel conflict. Um, you know, anything that escalates there, of course, interest rates are a concern. But what may be happening, many people are suggesting, is that after the uh, the yen car Japanese uh, carry trade blew up the other day, that maybe that forces the Fed to drop interest rates in a surprise cut here in August. Uh, Jeremy Siegel from um, uh, Wharton Business School calling for a 75 basis point cut 
uh, this month and in September. Unlikely we'll see that, but at least it's on the radar and people are kind of placing their bets for a surprise cut. Um, I would prefer we wait because typically the markets sell off and the economy falters a couple months after that rate cut. So we'll be watching that, but uh, that's the news, guys, and that's what to pay attention to. And uh, again, if you want any help one-on-one, -on -one, just go to moonstream.io and you can go down to this button here for coaching, mentoring, a uh, very limited amount of time and space for people. But if a couple of you have uh, larger accounts and would like to know how to protect those, and um, again, a no pressure call uh, to discuss that if you'd like. So anyway, um, back to the charts and I'll give you guys a good wave by goodbye. And uh, again, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, and it helps get it out to more people because these uh, algorithms don't show it to everybody until you, unless you guys like it. So it helps us, helps you, and um, we thank you again. All right, see you, everyone. Bye-bye.